Hello, I want to show you how to set up the front page on the magazine theme by Studio Press. Uh, and the way that it's done is by using um, the Genesis featured post widget. So this is a demo site I've got. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off this widget area so we can um, see how it works. That is that one there. So I'll get rid of that. So now, now it's gone. What we need to do is set this right hand side up the same as this left hand side here. So what we need first of all, uh, this is a magazine theme by Studio Press, and these are special Genesis um, widget. So we drag a widget from the from here into a widget area. I'm going to use a Genesis featured post widget, and I'm dragging it into a widget area called Home Right. So this is the widget area that we're going to use. These are predefined by the person who, who uh, designed your theme. Right, I can put a title at the top. I think there's music on this one. Now, the categories, this tells me which category that the posts are going to be taken from. And I'm going to choose the category of, I think it was music. I think that's the one that we've been using. I'm going to set one post to show. Um, I'm not going to offset the, the the post. If you offset it, it won't show. Let's suppose you offset it by one, it might not show them the uh, the most recent post you've written. And there's reasons why you might want to do that. Right. So what are we going to do? I'm going to show a featured image, and the featured image I'm going to show is. 280 wide you've got different choices I'm going to show the post title and I'm going to show not the post excerpt or the post content I'm going to uh, show content limit and that that's the only one that will let you actually limit the content yourself and I want 150 characters and that's the only way I can actually choose exactly 150 characters um, I'm going to show more posts from this category I'm going to show three more posts because that's how the Thing set up so I'll just put anything you want in there and there's also a thing called a, a category archive link and the category archive link is like it links to a thing like a blog listing so let's see what we've got now pretty much the same as the studio press one has um, these links link to individual blog pages just one page but this link at the bottom here, this more posts from this category, it's like a blog listing just for that category. So you've got the, the blog posts that are inside that category. So let's see. And that's basically how you set it up. You can include a gravatar, um, you can include post info. Post info is just things like who wrote the post and things like that. Oh, go back to the home page. This is the post info here. Oh, there. That's the post info. Right, what else can what? What else can we include or not include? Um, now this is really important. Show content limit. Now this is the un that that choice is the only one you can actually choose the exact number of um, characters to include. So if you've got a particular size, if you think I want a certain number, I'll just turn. I wonder if we refreshed it. No, I've not turned it off. I'll just get rid of that. Um, oh, forgotten to save. That won't do. Right. Um, the only way you can get exactly the right number of characters there is by choosing that option, which is show content limit. Right. Now I've made some uh, slides to try and keep. I'm trying to keep this video as short as I can. So I made some slides to show you, to explain how it all works. We're dealing with a Genesis featured post widget, and th this particular one is a Studio Press theme, but it needs a Genesis framework. That's the point that you need to remember. Um, so I'll, I'll go through the slides, and then if you get stuck, stop here and, and try and work out what's going on. To, have, to include a featured image, you've got to have, uh, you've got to have set, th these are featured images. And to include a featured image, you've got to have already set 
a featured image when you're making your page. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. What else do you need to know? These are different things you can choose the category. Um, but just top it and read through this when you when you want to know uh, how to include things from the category or how to set the, the the way that they list you can have several in a list I'll just show you a list let's see you see these here when there's several in a list like this you can set it to the most recent post at the top and the oldest at the bottom or all sorts of different settings now these are the settings you can choose from so if you read through that it'll tell you uh, some more sort order settings well well worth reading that bit because there's quite a bit of uh, information you can set things uh, this is how much copy you include on the page which is when I told you about show content limit and these are the different options you've got and what they do and this is how you get that list underneath it's that bit of the uh, dialog box there now this is the whole thing in one go let's have a look um, so th this is featured post widget which is very similar but if you just read through what each one does that's a page title there um, featured image this and then just have a read through and it'll, it'll tell you rather than you sat there listening to me uh, waffling on because I've tried, I've tried and tried to keep this video short and there's so much information I, I just can't do it so that's the last Thing, I think yep I'll leave that there because that, that's useful so do give it a try see what you think um, the important points are you've got to choose a category if you want to show the post title click the box that says show post title if you want to limit your characters limit the, this content choose there type a number choose show content limit and type something in there and if you want a featured image, which is one of these little pictures, tick that box and then choose the size here. I usually just experiment with different sizes for different boxes and then choose left, right or no alignment depending on you know which one suits me. Um, and this is the bit where you have the extra links underneath. Well, thanks for watching. I do hope you found that useful. Bye for now.